Hey everybody, it's Steph with Killer Sites and other websites. So, question that comes up every now and then, and I'm going to answer it again, but I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible. How do you get your first web development or web design jobs? What do you do? So, I assume at this point that you've learned how to code and you've learned how to build apps. So that means today, you know HTML5, CSS3, and you know some JavaScript, although you don't have to be an expert for the most part, depending on what you do. And then I would really strongly advise, if you want to get work, you really have to know your server side coding. That would either be PHP or maybe uh, Python, Django with the Django, or maybe Node, which is a JavaScript engine. There's, there's several options out there besides that. But those are the three I would be looking at. Number one, PHP. Number two, JavaScript Node. Number three, uh, Django. There's also Ruby on Rails, but as I said in another video recently, this is a technology that's fading, so I wouldn't go there. So, uh, yeah. So what do you need to do? So you, you got your skills. So what you got to do is you got to demo those skills. You have to show that you know what you're doing. So what you do with that is you got to you get yourself up a website, and then you have on your website examples of the type of work that you have done, working examples. And this applies to if you want to get into app development as well, whether it be for iOS or Android. Maybe you, you want to do app development. That's where HTML5 comes in because HTML5 uh, combined with uh, CSS3, JavaScript, and some uh, translation layer like Cordova or, and there are others allows you to build mobile apps. You can look into that as well. And uh, you know, people are going, well, if you're going to do mobile, don't you have to learn Swift for iOS or java for android yes those are popular but what's becoming even more popular quickly is building these mobile apps with html5 because there's all kinds of business advantages a 99 percent of apps can be built very effectively and will run very well uh, on android and ios with html5 it's just because the engines to process the javascript and the html are just becoming so fast now and uh, so a lot of companies are going to HTML5 for mobile app development because otherwise, if you write an app in uh, for iOS and Swift or Objective C, then you're going to want it for Android pro probably since it's such a huge market, the Android market. So you're going to have to write it again from scratch with Java, very expensive. But if you do an HTML5, it will work on both platforms, no problemo. Anyway back to getting your job. So how do you get your job? So you got to show some stuff that you can build, put up a site that you can uh, demonstrate your skills, you know, so people can check out what you're doing. So there's two options. Do you want to get a job somewhere or do you want to become a freelancer, maybe slowly start your own web development firm? If you want to get a job, you just got to show your work. Most small and medium-sized web development development firms are far more concerned with skills that you can demonstrate than they are with diplomas and degrees and uh, certificates. You know, um, where diplomas and degrees come in handy is when you want to go work for huge corporations where they have HR departments, where there's a protocol where they're going to want people with certain degrees. So keep that in mind. But for most jobs, 80, 90 percent of the jobs, degrees is not what counts. It's skill set that you can, that you can demonstrate. Skills that you can demonstrate. So. You want to get a job, build build your skills, build some demo sites, maybe do a couple of freebie projects for small companies for free, freebie so you gain some experience so you can show real world project projects. Then you can hand your resume in and start talking to people who are looking for coders. There's a huge demand for web developers and app developers today, huge demand. So if you do that and you can speak well, clearly, um, answer phone calls, don't be arrogant, be a good guy, be a good girl, uh, you will um, you will likely find a job in entry-level position fairly quickly. If you want to do it on your own as a contractor, with the idea in the end is becoming, uh, setting up your own web development firm, uh, the key again is this pretty much the same. You develop your skills, put up a site, show some demo projects, do a couple of freebie, freebie projects to show your skills. Also, you learn how to interact with clients and deal with them. And uh, then word of mouth will start coming into play. You can do word of mouth, you know, so you do 
I don't know, a site for a local bar or a local restaurant, you do it for free. And I'm telling you, all these owners are going to know other people. And if you do a good job, you work with them, they're going to tell other people. So you tell the guy, listen, I'm doing you this, this job for free because I'm just building my portfolio. I'll do the first bit for free. We'll get your site up and running. We'll run through the process. It won't cost you anything. But all I want, you know, I just want to put my name, this a site designed by, uh, app designed by, and that's it. And you're going to find somebody, you know, who doesn't want free work. And then you move on from there. And then slowly, slowly, you're going to get word of mouth. It always starts off slow, but with more word of mouth, more contacts, more jobs, you're going to find yourself with huge amounts of work. It's always the case. I don't know how long it's going to take. It could take you three to six months. It could take you uh, six months to a year, depending on the market that you're in. Uh, the other option is to maybe do some online bidding for contracts. If you can't find a local freebie contract, go to one of these online sites where you could bid for contracts and just take them on. Take them on for a low, low bid. It's not about making money with the first projects. It's about just gaining some experience that you can demonstrate to people. And you can start there and slowly, slowly start adding uh, to your uh, resume, start adding to your portfolio so you can show, look what the work I've done. If you do that, it's, it's, it's almost a guarantee if you stick, your, you stick to it, you work hard at it, you will get a job, whether as an, as an employee or as an independent contractor. That's all.